Have you ever wondered how YouTube, a platform that receives over 500 hours of video every minute, stores our videos? Imagine the sheer volume of data and the intricacies involved in its management. Well, it's not magic, but a fascinating process involving a series of steps. Every video that gets uploaded on YouTube is first broken down into smaller chunks. This process, known as video segmentation, allows the vast amount of data contained within each video to become more manageable for YouTube's servers. But how exactly does it work? Well, it's all about codecs and formats. A codec, short for coder decoder, compresses the video into a format that is easier to store and transmit. These formats vary, with some retaining high quality at the cost of larger file sizes, while others prioritize smaller sizes, with some loss in quality. This careful balancing act ensures that YouTube servers can efficiently store and stream billions of videos to users worldwide. So, our video is now a series of small chunks ready to be stored. These chunks of video data are then stored in Google's data centers. Now, let's unpack this. Google has a vast network of data centers scattered across the globe, each filled with servers that store and manage our video chunks. This network is designed to be robust and resilient, ensuring that our videos are available for viewing anytime, anywhere. But what happens if one of these data centers faces issues, you ask? Well, Google has that covered too. It uses a concept called redundancy. This means that each chunk of our video is stored not just in one location, but in several data centers. This way, if a data center in, say, California has a power outage, the system can retrieve the video from a data center in, let's say, Ireland, ensuring that our videos are always available for viewers. So, our video chunks are now safely stored in multiple locations. But how does YouTube know where to find our video when someone wants to watch it? Well, it's all about the indexing process. When you upload a video, you provide it with metadata and tags. This information is like a map for YouTube, guiding it to your video when a user types in relevant search terms. The system instantly sifts through billions of videos, using this metadata to quickly locate and stream your video. And that, in a nutshell, is how YouTube stores and retrieves our videos. So to recap, YouTube's data storage process is a fascinating journey. It begins by breaking your videos into manageable chunks, making them easier to process. These pieces are then securely stored across various data centers around the world, ensuring redundancy and accessibility. Metadata is the final crucial piece of the puzzle, assisting in the efficient retrieval of these video chunks. Next time you upload a video on YouTube, you'll know exactly what happens behind the scenes.